So ladies and gentlemen, we're going over these four problems. If you didn't finish them, it's all good. It's all good, don't panic. We're introducing this today, so no panicking. We're rounding these two to the nearest tenth. These two to the nearest tenth. Uh, who wants to tell me what number's in the tenth place in this one? Yes, ma'am. The seven is in the tenth place. So I am going to either add one to the tenth place. I need eyes on me. I'm either going to add one to the tenth place or I'm going to leave the tenth place the same. Okay, and as our note said, and as you've done since you were four months old, you look behind it. Now I'm looking at what place value am I looking at? Oh, I'm in the wrong place value, aren't I? Nearest tenth. All right, forgive me. Nearest tenth is what? Help me out here. Yes. Zero. The zero. Which zero? The zero in the, the beginning. Like, okay, the zero closest to the decimal point. Thank you. Y'all were looking confused, and then I realized I was doing this wrong. All right, so we're at, now we're looking at the tenths place. We go back, and we have the place behind it is the what place? Uh, hundredths. Good. I always forget the hundredths. Okay. Now I'm going to decide. The one you underline is the one you're going to change. Either it stays where it is, or you add one to it. So the number behind it is a seven. So does the zero stay where it is, or do I add one to it? Anybody? Just say it. You add, one to it. add one to it. Why? Because the number behind it is bigger than five. So that means it's going to be closer I add one to it, make it an addition problem, add one to it, because it might save your life someday. Fireman might come to your house and say, I can't take you out unless you tell me how to round this number. We don't want, we don't want you to mess up. So that zero becomes a one. Do I need to carry anything over? No. I added one to zero. I don't have to carry. I only have a one digit number. So these numbers in front of it, are going to stay where they're at. I can change, and I can put these two zeros there, but does that change the value? No. no. If I have one-tenth, I run over to my cabinet, and I get zero hundredths, and I put zero hundredths up here, then I run back to my cabinet, and I get zero thousandths, and I put zero of them up here. It doesn't change the value. Okay, it doesn't change the value. We're going to round 74 and 37 hundredths to the nearest tenth. Uh, what's in the tenths place, sir? The three. The three. The three is in the tenths place. So now, since I'm rounding to the tenths place, I look behind it into the hundredths place. Now, what am I going to do to the three? Anybody? Round it up to four. Okay, I'm going to add one to it. I want you to say it like that. Because if I had, and I was rounding here, and I looked behind it, if I had that, and I just moved that up to 10, then that would confuse me. So if I say I add one to it, then I know it's a 10, and then that becomes four. Okay? So I know that's a 10. But let's look at this one now. This nice young gentleman here said I add one to the three. Three and one is what? Four. Four. Do I need to regroup? No, I don't need to move anything over there. So in front of it's going to stay like it is. I can leave the four as it is, or I can put a zero behind it. Doesn't change the value. Doesn't change the value. Let's go to the nearest whole number. So Sankia, rounding to the nearest whole number is rounding to the nearest what place? Ones. One's place. I am going to get this question 4,286 times while we do rounding. And you're going to say, what place value? I don't understand. What's whole number mean? It's the ones place. Y'all know what the ones place is because that's the first thing they taught you when you were two and a half months old. The ones place. So we have that six because it's in the ones place. I'm going to look behind it into the what place? Uh, tens. tens place. The number in the tenth place is a six. So what do I do with my ones place? 
Anybody, just say it. Add one. So that becomes a seven. That stays a one. I can put a zero there or I can leave it blank. It doesn't matter. It doesn't change the answer. That's like, I have $17. Oh yeah, I have $17 and zero cents. Beat that, boom. Okay, it's the same thing. It's all the same. Rounding to this, to the nearest whole number. Travis, what number is the nearest whole number in this one? The one and what's in the ones place? Five. Five. Move in. So I'm going to do, I'm either going to add one to the fives place or I'm going to leave it the same. I'm going to look behind it. In the tenths place, there is a six. six. So does that mean I leave the five the same or I add one to it? Add one to it. I add one to it. Do I have to regroup? No. So that just becomes six. I can make it 6.0. I can make it 6.00. I can make it 6.0000. I can make it 6.400 zeros behind it. Doesn't change anything. All right, let's look at the next slide.